Hey guys, I was rummaging uh, through some boxes the other day, and I found this little, this little kind of case of uh, of some interesting ammunition that I hadn't seen for a long time. In fact, uh, the last time I saw this little little case of ammo was probably 20 years ago, um, when we had a rat infestation in our uh, garage, and we used we uh, my father bought a box of these or a, a little tube or whatever this is, a little uh, container of uh, these six millimeter Flaubert uh, BB caps. Uh, these are also known as CB caps or six millimeter Flaubert for those Europeans. But anyway, this is made by uh, Dynamit uh, Noble out of Germany, and this is an 18 grain uh, BB cap. Let me show you what. Let me show you what they look like inside. But anyway, the, we uh, we hit up. We kind of hid ourselves and uh, loaded up a, a 22 revolver with uh, these little tiny rounds, and um, we hunted these rats out of our um, garage. We actually never never killed any of them. <laughs> we got rid of them, I think, through poison or traps, if I if I remember correctly. But. Um, but this is what they look like, and I used to call them chipmunk shot. That's what I, that's what I uh, used to call them. There, they got a little uh, acorn on the back there. And uh, anyway, Flaubert uh, was a French dude that um, invented these about uh, the late 1800s, like 1890-ish. And he invented them so that people could fire them indoors, like as a par like parlor shooting and things like that. Um, but they are also they were also called um, the rifles that shot these were also called boy rifles. Uh, they were given to kids to um, use for fun, and these these um, these little rounds actually in energy kind of equate to our modern um, high-powered air rifles. So this is a this is an 18 grain uh, round here that's fired out at about 725 feet per second, um, give or take. So you're looking at between you know 20 and and 30 foot pounds of energy, which is you know some of those higher end. Uh, um, Air rifles will will do will do that. So anyway, um, but they all they were named they were also called the boy rifle. But anyway, I called them chipmunk shot. That's just kind of what I what I called them uh, back in the day. But anyway, I found this. Um, kind of wasn't really looking for them, but I just went through some boxes and found it. Anyway, I took one apart so you could see see what the insides look like and everything. So let me pull that little BB out. This is what it looks like, and you can see the indent on the um, on the round there. And then here's the inside of the inside of the casing. Actually, let me show you one that has been fired. So this one was fired just recently um, by me with a uh, Rossi. Um, I can't remember what the model number is. Uh, tw uh, 22 revolver. You can see the, the the strike there on it, and you can see inside. This is the one that's unfired here on the, I believe the right. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I'm working upside down. Anyway, you can see the difference there. So that's the, the whatever's in that is a little bit of impact uh, sensitive um, explosive material, which propels that projectile out. And I think your modern CB caps, your modern day CB caps, are what this is exactly what's inside of that. No powder, just um, the priming material. So <coughs> anyway, there's the difference between the fired and unfired. Yeah. And then um, I did capture a couple of the fired projectiles. What I did was I stuffed a box full of um, an old fleece blanket. And you can see a little bit of that piece. Of, well, I don't know if you can see that or not. A little piece of pink fleece right there. Anyway, these were captured um, in the fleece blanket. It was about 15 layers of fleece inside a cardboard box. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, one of them escaped. Um, uh, this was the first one I fired, and this was about 10 layers of fleece, and it actually exited out of the back of the box and hit a piece of laminate board that I put behind it, and you can see that it deformed that pretty well and embedded a bunch of the, the wood inside of it. So it's definitely got a little bit of energy. It does, it does definitely have enough to penetrate a bit into, into, uh, into a wood. I mean, it made a made about a quarter inch dent in that uh, in that wood after going through um, about 15 about 10 10 layers of fleece so would they be lethal um, I think they have the potential to be lethal for sure but um, you know most likely it'll just cause injury um, but you know you never can be too careful but anyway I thought you guys might uh, might find that interesting the little flow bear uh, six millimeter flow bear or the the BB cap 
or the CB cap, whichever you prefer. But um, um, one one person that has a video on these is he is uh, Gun Geek, um, and I'll put his, the the link to his video down in the description below. But um, he has a, a video on a rifle that actually fires these, and I and these um, we we fired out of uh, out of a revolver, and I think they work fairly well. I don't know how accurate they are. I haven't actually fired for accuracy, but. Anyway, so I thought you guys would, would find that interesting. Just a little bit of what I call chipmunk shot. Something that you can use around around the house without really scaring your neighbors too much. Um, you'd want to be definitely want to be careful because they do have the potential to be lethal and they do fire out at about 725 feet per second. So they are moving quite quite a good clip. So Alright guys, um uh, go go check out Gun Geek's channel uh, to check out one of the rifles that fire these these little guys. So anyway, hopefully hopefully you found that interesting. So you guys have a good weekend, and we will uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.